Elizabeth Taylor wasn't just a British-American actress, she was an icon whose early beginnings in 1932 London set the stage for a remarkable journey that would captivate the world. Transitioning from a child prodigy in the 1940s to the unrivaled queen of classical Hollywood cinema by the 1950s, Taylor's star only burned brighter as she became the highest-paid actress of the 1960s, solidifying her status as an enduring symbol of glamour and talent. Her legacy was immortalized in 1999 when the American Film Institute heralded her as the seventh greatest female screen legend in the annals of classic Hollywood. Taylor's illustrious career began with a modest role, yet her termination from Universal Pictures only propelled her towards greater heights. Signing with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, she quickly rose to teenage stardom with her performance in National Velvet, 1944. By the 1950s, she had seamlessly transitioned to mature roles, dazzling audiences in Father of the Bride, 1950, and earning critical acclaim for A Place in the Sun, 1951. Elizabeth Taylor's journey from a London-born child to Hollywood royalty is a testament to her unparalleled talent and the indelible mark she left on the world of cinema. In the early 1950s, despite her status as one of MGM's premier talents, Elizabeth Taylor yearned to step away from the limelight, stifled by the studio's tight reins and uninspired by the role she was compelled to play. However, the winds of change began to sweep through her career in the mid-1950s with her role in the monumental drama giant, 1956, marking the onset of a series of roles that not only brought her joy but also garnered critical acclaim and box office success. Her remarkable performances and adaptations of Tennessee Williams' plays earning a Golden Globe for Suddenly, Last Summer, 1959, and an Academy Award for Butterfield 8, 1960, despite her personal disdain for the character, underscored her exceptional talent. Taylor's personal life, particularly her tumultuous affair with Richard Burton during the filming of Cleopatra, 1961, became as captivating as her on-screen personas, resulting in a scandal that captivated the public eye. Nevertheless, their romance endured, leading to a marriage in 1964 and a partnership that saw them star in 11 films together, becoming one of Hollywood's most iconic couples, affectionately known as Liz and Dick. The pinnacle of Taylor's career came with her performance in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, for which she received her second Oscar, among other accolades, showcasing the depth of her acting prowess. Though her marriage to Burton ended in divorce in 1974, only to briefly reignite in 1975 before concluding again in 1976, Taylor's legacy as an actress of unparalleled depth and complexity remains untouched, her journey from a star chafing under studio control to a celebrated icon of cinema a testament to her indomitable spirit and enduring talent. In the twilight of her acting journey during the late 1960s, Elizabeth Taylor transitioned from the silver screen to become a beacon of support and inspiration. Notably, she played a pivotal role in the rise of her sixth husband, the esteemed Senator John Warner, while also setting the stage for her comeback in the 1980s with significant theatrical roles and television appearances. Taylor wasn't just a pioneer in the entertainment industry, she revolutionized the concept of celebrity entrepreneurship by being among the first to launch her own perfume brand, following the footsteps of Sophia Loren. However, Elizabeth Taylor's true legacy extends far beyond her contributions to film and business. She emerged as a trailblazer in the fight against HIV-AIDS, co-founding the American Foundation for AIDS Research in 1985 and establishing the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation in 1991. Her unwavering commitment to philanthropy, particularly in her later years, garnered her numerous accolades, including the prestigious Presidential Citizens Medal. Taylor's life, marked by its extraordinary highs and lows, from her eight marriages to her battle with serious illnesses and her status as a jet-setter with a legendary jewelry collection, captivated the public eye. Yet, it was her enduring spirit and tireless advocacy that left an indelible mark on the world. Elizabeth Taylor passed away in 2011 due to congestive heart failure, leaving behind a legacy of resilience, generosity, and unwavering support for causes larger than life itself. Elizabeth Taylor, an iconic figure, seamlessly bridged the gap between the golden age of classical Hollywood cinema and the dawn of the modern celebrity era. In a time when a studio system reigned supreme, Taylor was the epitome of a film star, a dazzling presence that stood apart from the everyday, her image meticulously molded and maintained by the powerhouse that was MGM. However, as the classical Hollywood era faded in the 1960s and the paparazzi culture began to rise, Taylor ingeniously adapted, becoming a prototype for the new age celebrity. Her life away from the camera lens, with its trials and triumphs, captivated the public imagination as much as any of her on-screen roles, 
making her a pioneer in navigating the uncharted waters of media attention. Adam Bernstein of the Washington Post remarked that Taylor was celebrated not just for her roles in cinema but for her very essence of being, setting the stage for future generations of entertainers and public figures to follow in her footsteps, where fame itself becomes a career. This shift marked a defining moment in how celebrities would interact with the public and media henceforth, with Taylor leading the way with grace and resilience. Elizabeth Taylor, a cinematic icon, transcended the realm of mere acting to become a legend, despite early critics' failure to see beyond her star-studded persona. Janine Basinger insightfully pointed out the unique challenge Taylor faced, as her luminous presence on screen often shadowed her acting prowess, making it difficult for critics to appreciate the depth of her performances. Contrary to the belief that Taylor merely mirrored her personal tumults in her roles, her cinematic journey is a testament to a versatility that ranged from intoxicating allure to commanding intelligence, a spectrum seldom acknowledged by her contemporaries. Mel Gusso of the New York Times and film critic Peter Bradshaw celebrated this breadth, highlighting her unexpected range and magnetic screen presence that defied conventional training. Echoing the sentiments of legends, David Thompson placed Taylor in the echelon of greats like Betty Davis, for her unparalleled ability to blend strength with vulnerability, wisdom with folly. Her indelible impact on cinema is immortalized with five of her films being preserved in the National Film Registry, and her legacy as the seventh greatest female screen legend by the American Film Institute. Taylor was not just playing roles, she was defining them, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood and beyond. Taylor's influence extends beyond mere celebrity, she embodies a paradox within the discourse on women's roles in Western culture. Camille Paglia celebrates Taylor as a symbol of pre-feminist feminine power, a force of nature that challenges feminist narratives with her undeniable sexual prowess, reminiscent of historic disruptors like Delilah and Helen of Troy. Conversely, M.G. Lord views Taylor as an unintentional feminist icon. Her performances in cinema, without explicitly championing feminism, subtly wove feminist threads into the fabric of mainstream media, exposing audiences to progressive ideas about women's autonomy. Similarly, Ben W. Heinemann Jr. and Christine Russell highlight her role in Giant as a pivotal moment in dismantling entrenched stereotypes about women and minorities, marking her as a figure who not only graced the screen but also reshaped societal views on gender inequality. Elizabeth Taylor, celebrated not just for her unparalleled charm and legacy in Hollywood, emerged as a beacon of hope and resilience within the LGBTQ community, ardently championing the fight against HIV-AIDS. Her unwavering commitment transcended mere advocacy, earning her an indelible status as an icon whose efforts were rooted in a profound respect and dignity for all. This sentiment was echoed by Glad upon her passing, acknowledging her as a figure of monumental importance not only to cinema but to the very fabric of LGBTQ rights and awareness. Sir Nick Partridge of the Terence Higgins Trust lauded her as a trailblazer, courageously addressing the stigmas associated with AIDS when few others would. Paul Flynn of The Guardian hailed her as a revolutionary figure among gay icons, admired not for the pathos of her personal story but for her tangible, impactful contributions to the LGBTQ cause. Highlighting the far-reaching influence of her humanitarian endeavors, former President Bill Clinton remarked upon her passing that Elizabeth Taylor's legacy is immortalized in the countless lives she touched, lives enriched and extended by her passionate advocacy and the ripple effect of those she inspired. Her story is a testament to the power of celebrity in championing human rights, underscoring the profound impact one individual can have on the world. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. We appreciate your support. Bye.